Well, the Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund, CPF, has been in existence for uh, 21 years. And uh, since uh, this, uh, this early 2000, we have been uh, focusing on biodiversity conservation in the biodiversity hotspot of the planet. Indo Burma is one of the 36 biodiversity hotspots of the planet. And we started making grants available to civil society organizations in 2008. That was the first phase investment, so that was run from 2008 to 2013, followed by another phase that started 2013 until 2020, and uh, when IUCN became uh, the original implementation team uh, for this uh, for this hotspot, and now we entered, you know, the uh, third phase of uh, of Indo Burma investment of CPF in 2020 and this will end in 2025. So it's a major investment of, uh, of CPF in this hotspot. $35 million have been made available to civil society organizations. More than 400 grants have been made uh, to civil society organizations. Uh, 120 local civil society organizations have benefited from these grants and another 40 um, international NGOs have been also been supported by CPF. IUCN knows the actors, you know, from the international NGOs down to the smallest uh, NGOs or even community group. So that's uh, all this uh, knowledge is absolutely essential to select the right uh, grantees and to follow up, you know, on the implementation of the project that are proposed by the uh, NGOs. So this combination of uh, of uh, CPF and uh, and IUCN in this uh, regional implementation team capacity is uh, a very important one. NGOs, you know, are an important driving force for nature conservation. They work with private sector, they work with community, they work with governments. We have to uh, uh, illustrate this, you know, and measure it and, uh, and uh, demonstrate the impact. So that will be an important element of uh, this uh, third phase.